Koinop is a neighborhood watering hole offering craft cocktails, craft beer, delicious food, and of course, classic arcade games. Come visit them in downtown Sacramento and get the high score you always wanted over a delicious cold beer. Koinop features multiple bars offering food and drinks focusing on quality and production. 16 beers on tap are curated to highlight the microbrewery explosion of California with an emphasis on San Diego, Sacramento, and of course, Bay Area breweries and specialty ciders. The cocktail program is built on speed and simplicity and stands upon quality spirits and homemade elixirs. Their food is meant to be shared and everything they can make is made from scratch. And I can attest, it is super delicious. They currently have 40 plus arcade games at Coinop Game Room, ranging from the 1981-1982 releases Donkey Kong and Tron to the 2011 four-player Pac-Man Battle Royale. They focus on the classics, with about half of their floor dedicated to games from the early 80s and early 90s. And among the 40 plus games, CoinOp carries 13 different pinballs, some ranked in the top 20 of all time as stated by Pinside.com. What's up everyone, Jacob Garcia here. You already know who it is, your Sacramento real estate agent YouTuber, here with my fiance, Anai. And today we're gonna to be showcasing you guys one of our awesome favorite spots in Sacramento, Coin Op. If you guys haven't been here, come check it out. We're gonna show you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like to be in here. The food, you already know. And as always, don't forget to stick to the end so you can participate in our giveaway of this awesome place. If you love music, arcade, drinks, and fun, this is the spot to come to. We are about to try out the food and we have here with us Mark. He is also a Sacramento real estate agent and YouTuber. How are you feeling about being here with us? Well, I love good food. I love good arcade games. Um, I love Sacramento, so let the games begin. So uh, this is our King Koopa. Um, it is uh, a garlic sauce base with uh, mozzarella over the top. And then this little squiggle that we have over the top is our house-made curry sauce. Yeah. yeah, it looks delicious. This is one that we're really proud of on this new menu that we rolled out, yeah. Nice. Well, we're excited to try it. All right, my friends. And then over here, we've got our Lost Woods. This is another garlic sauce pizza. It's got great tomatoes as well. This green on the top is uh, roasted broccoli rob, and these little pink guys are uh, pickled red onions. Double yum. Yeah. Wow. This was a good wow. one that we rolled out. I'm so happy about all of this. <laughs> it looks good, and it smells delicious, yeah. too. Thanks for hooking us up. My this pleasure. is awesome. Brian Sullivan. Um, I've worked at CoinOp since 2016. Um, I started here as a line cook. Um, in the time since, I've moved up. I took over the kitchen for a while, and now I'm the AGM of the place. It's not always easy to get find a job um, in the cooking industry that treats you this well, and this place has always taken really good care of me. Um, I love this job. I really enjoyed the time that I've spent here. And I've really enjoyed like the creative latitude I've had to sort of mess around with pizzas and come up with cool stuff for our menu and everything. It's been a, been a real, real cool ride. All right, so what I have here for you all today is um, over here we've got our caprese salad. It's one of the classics on our menu. Um, it's just, it's very simple. It's Roma tomatoes, uh, fresh basil leaves, and fresh mozzarella, little salt and pepper, and then um, we've got our balsamic reduction over the top. Here, uh, this is one of our new pies for our menu. It's called the King Koopa. It's a garlic sauce base with spinach, then has mozzarella, shallots, great tomatoes and roasted chicken thighs. And then this over the top is our house made uh, curry sauce. Um, over here, we've got another one of our new pizzas. This is our vegetarian option, like our official one for the menu. Uh, it's another garlic sauce mozzarella pizza with uh, broccoli rabe, grape tomatoes, pickled red onions, and then uh, lemon basil ricotta over here on the top. This is our vegetable stromboli. Uh, you can't see what's in it. It's um, uh, two different kinds of bell peppers, yellow summer squash, asparagus, potatoes, and then it's got our garlic cream sauce along with a fair amount of mozzarella in there. 
You know, we just rolled out a new menu. We, our bar staff and our kitchen staff, all put a lot of work into making sure that this one was excellent. I would love for everyone to come on down and try our food. We're super proud of it. We make everything in house. Like, you'll have a good time here. We work really hard to make sure of that. We're gonna start trying the food. Let's go ahead and start with this one. What do you think? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I always pick my slices. I was eyeing this slice. <laughs> nice. I, I <laughs> eat whatever. I'm good. That is so good. That has such a like particular taste. Yeah, it's really good, and it tastes. You can taste kind of like the, you know the fresh ingredients and yeah. how it was kind of like you know made with love, which mm -hmm. is good. For me, it's a thumbs up. So this is the Capri salad. It's really cool because it's shareable. I don't like to bite into things this small, so I'm just gonna put it all in my mouth and see how that goes. Yeah, it's really delicious, especially for those of you who are on the seafood diet. You're gonna see all this and you can eat it, and it's really, really good. It's so good. It's really good. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I mean, it's really delicious. The other thing, too, is it's like if you wanna take a little bit of a time out and go play like Tetris, Galaga, like pinball. You know, like, we we'll grab a beer, you know, I mean, that's not bad. A little halftime, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're digging into the King Koopa. This looks really interesting with the sauce. I gotta admit, yeah. I'm a sauce guy. I love this stuff. So, uh, so which piece did you selectively choose to eat? Because I don't want to touch it. That one. All right, go for it. And I'm not so patient with these things, but that's why I opened it up. That sauce really adds mm -hmm. the perfect touch to this pizza. Mm -hmm. I like it. It feels like I'm eating like not just pizza, but like a meal. Yeah. At the same time, because of the chicken and the sauce and the. Mm hmm. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we are going to try the vegetable stromboli. Um, I'm going to cut it because we're sharing. Ooh, look at that. What I love about this place is like, I feel like. Pizza and beer is such a great pairing. Like we come here a lot actually and we grab a little beer and then we're hungry. So they sell pizza slices. So whenever we're just like a little hungry, we'll grab some slices and we'll pair the slices of pizza with the beer and it's just such a great taste. So you should definitely try that pairing combination out. So it comes with this sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and nice marinara sauce over there. Nice. The majority of the pizzas tend to have like meat, meat, meat. Right. Sacramento is farmed with pork, so all this fresh ingredients really does add to that, which is nice. I'm gonna get in this action because I'm behind the camera. This is looking very good, very good. Tromboli, vegetable tromboli. I dip and I eat. You guys did a good job. Delish, delish. Mm -hmm. Salud. Everything's so good, guys. I'm actually, I was actually surprised, I'm not gonna lie, when I first came in here and tried the food, I'm yeah. thinking it's just like primary, it's an arcade place, so you're gonna play games. But their food, their pizza's bomb, all their, their menu is just hitting, right. and their beers, are great. Mm -hmm. Great selection, great variety. Just a good time. I can see why this place always gets packed. Yeah, it's like they really take care of giving the best of everything. It's not like they just focus on the games and for the games to be on point. No, they also focus on the drinks being on point and the food as well. So it's like very well rounded, I think. Very good. Definitely thumbs up. Six thumbs up. Okay. Okay, Mark, that's me. So everyone, we are here with Eric. He is one of the guys that helped us make this possible. So we're super grateful and we just wanted to introduce him to y'all and we're gonna be hearing hey. some of his story. Almost about four years now. Started just coming here and drinking and hanging out. Really loved it, loved the games. Um, bartenders were awesome, great cocktails, awesome beer. And uh, found out one of the bartenders was gonna take a long vacation, so I was like, they need help. So they were like, uh, drop off a resume. I did, and about a month later, got hired. Been here ever since. Became a bar manager for a little bit, and then uh, just got promoted to GM. Wow. 
All right, guys, that is it for our episode. Thank you guys for watching so much. We appreciate all your feedback. Be sure to leave a comment on what your favorite dish was or your favorite part of the video to enter into the gift card giveaway. And be sure to say what's up to Eric and Brian. Those guys did an awesome job catering to us. And the whole staff here is just awesome. They're friendly. You're gonna enjoy it when you guys come. So thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next one. And also, if you wanna see more of Sack Living Vlog videos, be sure to watch this video, or that video, <laughs> this video maybe. I think you're gonna like this, or this one. <laughs> one of these, you're gonna like it.